minutes, I guess. Your apron. Oh, I'm going to get my apron. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, trying to get stirring around here, trying to get things ready. Uh, good morning. I'm Mary. I'm Linda. Welcome. Welcome to uh, Pinky Mall's Sisters in the Kitchen. And uh, we're going to be making chicken taco soup today. That sounds good. Yeah. And so uh, I hope everyone is having a blessed day. Uh, I know it's different times at different parts of the country, but I chopped up me some onions and I'm going to go ahead and put them in. Uh, Where's the bench right here? Uh, I'm just going to use this bag. <laughs> I chopped up me some onions. Let me see if I can get this camera. Uh, we're um, we're doing camera and all today because we're uh, just literally just working from home. Yeah, today. yeah. I'm just I'm through with that, Linda. If you okay. want to put it in the wash dishwasher. I'm just going to saute these onions a little bit, just kind of get them soft, um, and um, it's actually a, a red onion. I've, I've done like Linda. I had part of red onion left from um, from Christmas, and I, I wanted to use it, so I was going to, I'm just using the what I had to. What do you have in there with the onions, Mary? It's all, a, a tablespoon of olive oil. I know it's just vegetable oil. A tablespoon um, and I'm cooking in the, uh, the the rock crop this morning that's our a rock crop this is the um, how many quarts that's is a four, quart. four quart yeah this is a four quart now the smaller one is on sale this month it's two and a half quart. it's two and a half quart but I'm gonna turn this up a little bit get this getting I'm just gonna I just gonna get it tender I'm just gonna get the the um, onions kind of tender and then we'll put put in all the other stuff. Um, that it's just a, a mixture. You know, I mean, you just pour it in here and mix it. But I like the onions to get a little tender because actually on this soup you could cook it for two hours. And the longer you cook something, the more the spices is going to be blended. And but we're only going to cook it for about 35, 40 minutes because um, of time wise. But it's okay to just cook it that long. But um, I'm going to tenderize my um, onions first. This is something really good for this time of year. Oh, yeah. It's uh, uh, my little Linda. That's a that's an onion that's too big, and I don't want it in there. Uh, uh, this is the, this is not the, my little Linda's recipe, but Lin Linda has a good... Good recipe for ta taco chicken. I mean taco soup. She doesn't. She does it with ground meat. Yeah, she I've don't eaten, do it. I've yeah, eaten taco soup yeah. with ground meat too. And that's what Linda does hers with. And uh, and she has a she has a great recipe. And she likes it. But I wanted to do chicken. So this is just a little bit different. Chicken would be good too. Yeah, it's similar the way she does it. But she Linda don't really like little Linda don't really like to cook that much but she has a few things that she when she does cook she's a good it's, cook it's really she good is. and this is one of her specialties this and chicken spaghetti she thinks that she makes the best chicken spaghetti of anybody and taco soup <laughs> so and and it is good so Mary, I have been laughing all uh, the way over here about uh, that when we were singing the other day. Yeah, Saturday here, Saturday. Uh huh. Did, were you hearing that buzzing noise? I did not. I, if I did, you know. Well, you know how <laughs> my remember. ears are. My yeah. ears pick up yeah. everything, and yeah. especially when I'm playing the piano and yeah. I'm hearing stuff coming from different directions. Yeah. I kept hearing this. It wasn't. It didn't start at first. Uh -huh. I, I don't, but I kept hearing this buzzing, and I kept thinking, what is that noise? And and you can hear little Linda on the tape saying, yeah. what is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> and I guess somebody had, I had a little battery toothbrush in my tote bag, uh -huh. and I guess somebody had pushed their foot on oh, it or something, no. or arm, oh, no. and then it turned that battery on, <laughs> <laughs> on that toothbrush. Oh, they finally took the bag outside. <laughs> Oh, they couldn't figure out what it was. Oh, 
like and this. And I had to take everything out of it before I could even find it when I went out there to get it. Because yeah. um, they had my purse in it. Yeah. And, um, no, I, I, don't, I didn't hear it, but like I say, funny. I was... Um, I've been dealing with a bladder stone, or, or gallstone, kidney stone. Not a gallstone. I don't no, know what you it's call it. A it's a it's a kidney stone. It's what I've been dealing with, and I was not in very. I was kind of in pain Saturday in that kidney stone. I don't, I don't know how you made it through uh, there. It was rough, but anyway, I'm hoping to get that taken care of tomorrow. All right. So I'm now. I'm going to pour. chicken broth, and it's not low sodium. Sorry about that. Right. <laughs> I'm not going to put no salt in it, so I'm going to put, I'm going to get this camera so they can see what I'm doing. I'm pouring some chicken broth in. Can you, can you take that for me, please? Thank you. You're welcome. And I'm going to put a package taco seasoning. Uh, it's chicken taco season. That's got a lot of good spices. It's in got it. a lot of spices in it. And thank you, Linda. <laughs> I'll, I'll pass it on to you. I'm gonna mix all this up, and a package of ranch uh, seasoning mix. Both of it. Thank you. Okay. I'm stir this up. And get it. Get it stirred up good. I'm going to um, get it stirred up good before I add my chicken. But um, I like taco, uh, chicken taco soup. Uh, several years ago when I was uh, doing chip, yeah, um, I went to Carthage to make a presentation at one of the government offices down there. And uh, they fixed lunch. And they had a big roaster full of uh, taco soup. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like taco soup. Now, Chili's taco soup is really spicy, almost too spicy for me. Chili's okay. taco soup. Okay, I guess soup. I've ever eaten I've eaten it chili's. several times. Every time I'll say, well, I'll try it again, but it's really too spicy for me. And now I'm going to put in some uh, minced garlic. I talked Mike in yesterday after we finished cooking uh -huh. to go in with me to do a stock up on pantry stock ups. Yeah. I sure was Did glad he went with me because we you know, heavy. put I tomatoes know. and I know. tomato puree and juices and stuff. Now this is um um Col is that uh, cilantro? Cilantro. Okay. <laughs> this is cilantro. I chopped it up in little pieces. Little I tiny love pieces. Cilantro. And so I'll put that some of that in here. And now I will put my chicken. And um this is two chicken breasts. And it looks like a whole lot more than what it is. Um I was telling Linda earlier, I went to buy uh some chicken breast. Just uh and um I didn't realize I picked up a package the thin sliced. The thin sliced. So it just it it'd be good. It won't you know I take love long. Thin slice. We buy that all the time. And um, like I said, this is two chicken breasts. And I'm putting it in there whole, but once it cooks a while, I'm gonna take it out and shred it. Okay. And then put it back in here. But I want this to to I boil. like that for um we we buy it to fix sandwiches you, with. Yeah. I've never bought it before, Linda. Thank you. I need to wash my hands. Um yeah, it's it cooks up real fast, and um, we uh, like it. No, I, I had never bought it. I know I've heard you say that you buy the thin sliced for um, sandwiches, but I really, I didn't really. Yeah. I thought you sliced it yourself. I guess <laughs> you can buy a big one and slice it, but I like these because yeah. they're already sliced. So I'm, we're gonna put that in there and let that boil. I'm gonna put the uh, mixed garlic in the refrigerator. Uh, then we can hot put this lid on here. Get that boil, and once it starts boiling, I'm gonna boil it for about 20 minutes, and that's about all the time it takes for the chicken. Uh, it would be cooked enough that I can shred it. Yeah. 
and um, and then uh, then I'll put it back in there when, and put all my vegetables in there. But right now we just got to get it to boiling. And uh, I guess I got splotch, <laughs> splattered some stuff on there. Okay. Uh, all right. Now I guess we can draw. We oh, uh, yeah. We got to do the birthday yeah. one for December. We, we didn't. We've never drawn for the birthday uh, apron for the birthday drawing. So. Um, I had to draw before we got on air because it's on this phone that I'm using. So, Linda, uh, what name did we come up with? Uh, it's uh, Liz Gibson. I think her birthday was December the 28th. And, uh, and uh, the wheel doesn't make a difference when you posted this. And it, it's not like you was the last one who posted because right. your birthday was December 28th. That's not the way it works. But anyway, Liz Gibson uh, won the apron, the Pinky Mouse apron for December birthday. Now, the January birthday drawing, you don't start posting, uh, sending your name and, um, and telephone number in until the last week of January to this business number, which is 903 two three five four eight oh four and that's the number that you send the last week of january your birthday and please send your name and and a telephone number and the date of your the day of your birthday in january and we'll draw uh, the first week i guess in february yes because we want to get everybody a chance to get your get your birthday so uh, what we need from liz is we need you to direct message us or text us your address so we can get this uh, in the mail to you. I'm not sure because I don't remember. I think she had her address on there. But if you didn't, go ahead and send us your okay, address. I, I didn't, I think I she didn't look, so I don't know. Uh, you know what? I, I don't think she did either. If it was on the text you, sh you showed me, it was she did Okay, no. no, it wasn't. Okay, so we need your address so we can send you an apron. So... And please let us know when you yes, get it. Yes, yes. That would be great. Uh, we're going to, um, uh, I'm going to be on my, uh, matter of fact, but we'll both be on our other page this afternoon. Yes. Because I hadn't been on this this month. I think, Linda, you have, but I yeah. haven't. But we'll be on this afternoon on our other page showing. Um, Tell them what we're going to be giving away yeah. and everything. So. And also we want to thank uh, Sheila English. is yes. the sweet lady that sent us the sweatshirts. Yes. And we love them. Uh, they are Black. super comfy and warm. Yeah. And uh, so thank you, Sheila yes, English, thank for you. That. And I apologize for not not saying your name correct yesterday. We uh, we went back and found where who uh, the person who actually sent it to us. I was thinking it was somebody else, but I want to make sure this starts to boiling before I go sit down. It won't take that chicken long at all, and that's all. That's all I'm doing now. Honestly, what you could you can do. Um, if you want to just throw it all in there, the vegetables with the chicken, the whole everything pot with your whole chicken and cook it the whole time, you can do that. And then take the chicken out and shred it and put it back in. You can do that if you want to. That flavors that chicken, you know, with all the stuff in it. But I'm trying to speed up the process because <laughs> I don't want to cook it two hours. So I'm cooking the chicken first to make sure it gets done and then we'll add the vegetables. Mary, so. can they do this in a crock pot, a slow oh, cooker? Yeah, you could put it in a slow cooker, yes. I mean, it, all it is is throw it all your uh, ingredients in there and cook it slow for two, three hours, whatever you want. Yes, this is a crock pot recipe. I mean, it's not a crock pot recipe, but you can also use it in the crock, uh, fix it in a crock pot. You fix it in the big big pot, the Pamper Chef pot, right. anything. I did it in the rock crock because um, I just wanted to use the rock crock pot. So anyway, so are we going to... Uh, I guess we'll just sit down and let that, uh, let that start cooking. I'm, yeah, I'm going to turn that burner oh, down. We'll go over here. Yeah, we can just go okay. sit down. I uh, I hadn't got all my stuff put up yet. It looks really pretty. Your house see. looks so pretty. Oh, goodness. It I, was kind of, kind of hectic here over the weekend. And you couldn't really see a lot of your decorations. But they're well, very, very I, uh, I got to so much... Uh, to uh, to put up. I mean, it takes a while to get the stuff put out, but then it takes a while. Then it takes a while to um, 
Do I need to, to get it over out? So no, 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 no. I'm fine. I can't see you. Uh, well, like I said, we're trying to manage this camera and and us and do our thing too. Can we um, see the comments? So, in case anybody has okay, let's questions. see. See if anybody has questions. Uh -huh. We don't have no questions. Uh, so, um, well, let's see here. All I guess all y'all done got probably done got started putting your Christmas stuff up. Uh, we got most we of have, ours up. Have, Mike took some of it down yeah, yesterday, I, but we still got the piano he's yeah. got to clean off. And, I seen Mike uh, putting the Christmas the tree down yesterday. I haven't. You know what? I'm wondering. Um, that light is not. Uh, it's real dark in here. I'm gonna turn a light on. Yeah, I should turn the living room light on. But this. I'm going to see if I can, I can read the comments. I okay, don't, I let don't me. want my face to be in the, right in the smack middle of the screen, but I'm going to see if I can see them. You, you do, you're better at that than me. Now, does that help? That's, I think that is better, Mary. Okay. Give a little bit more light. And thank y'all for the, uh, all of you that send stars. We don't mention yeah. it because sometimes we forget. But thank you. That's very sweet. And um, for everybody that's watching, um, we found out why uh, y'all are, some of you, especially our new uh, people, are saying that the cookbooks are sold out. Um, our little shop button, we're trying to get that updated uh, to where it will take you to our new site, uh, yeah. new website instead of the old one. So, um I think Linda, little Linda's going to be working on that. So um, we find out new things all the time, don't we, Linda? Trying to figure out okay, uh, what, what we, to do. What we, yes, we do. What we stock in our pantry. What are some uh, items that you keep stocked in your pantry? Mary? I have cream of chicken soup, mushroom soup, tomato soup, uh, all kinds of tomatoes. Uh, fire roasted tomatoes, stewed tomatoes, um, diced tomatoes, canned milk. I mean, that's that's what that's the basics that I always have. I, of course, I have a lot of stuff, but I always keep Velveeta cheese on in stock. Yeah. Um, I keep usually um, several cans of Rotel, chopped green chilies, um, broth. We keep yeah. lots of broth, beef and chicken broth. And uh, let's see, um, I like tomato puree. I, I use a lot of that, so I keep that stocked. Um, several different kinds of pastas. Yeah. Um, got, if you wanted to make right. something with pastas in it. And uh, let's see, uh, uh, juices, I stock tomato juice. And I use, I stock the small cans and the big cans. And the reason I do, and I know you can buy them in jars now, and we also stock V8, um, is because sometimes you want, something that you only want a small amount of mm. tomato juice in right like yesterday i used two cans in the um uh, red beans and rice and sausage if you open a big container then sometimes right. it gets pushed back at the back of the refrigerator and you wind right. up throwing right. it out right so well, i Walmart like those was out cans. of tomato juice yesterday i they, was gonna get they've some. all been out yeah they was out yeah. yesterday the stores linda have you noticed i mean they're just a lot of things yeah. that they're just completely a lot out of, of stuff a lot of stuff if i hadn't stocked up before christmas it'd been some things that the stores didn't even have at the last minute absolutely and um i got um uh, some extra condiments yesterday um i used olive oil and mayo so i got some extra some extra spicy ketchup I forgot the and, time there. Um, huh? Let's see. We we love pickles, so we try to keep a, uh, an array of pickles, different kinds of pickles. Um, and flowers, of course, I always keep lots of flour. I use more um, all-purpose than I do self-rising, but I do keep self-rising. I also had to buy some more um, cornmeal, uh, self-rising cornmeal uh, mix yesterday. And... Uh, course in your paper goods you want to have you want to have foil and we and I call it cheap foil I have cheap foil to line pans if I'm baking a pie or something and then the good foil you get at Sam's but yeah. I try to keep cheap foil yeah. too well um it's just something that um if you're cooking all the time those are the some of the things that we use more than others 
And um, I'd like to welcome, I, I just seen one of the posts said that they was, they just recently started following us. And uh, we thank y'all for following us and, and tell your friends about us and share us and like us and and uh, we appreciate it. Yes, we really appreciate welcome it. to all of our, yes. our, our new followers. And someone asked the question, did we find Tone's uh, chicken base and beef base at Sam's? Yes, they did yes. get that in before Christmas. Yes. We also keep an extra one of those on hand. Oh, yeah. I got two um, or three of them because you can't get them every time that you want them. I was trying them. to think if there's something else that I... We, we keep honey. Uh, yeah. We buy local honey because we do use that. Um what are some of the other things that you keep, Mary? Um, the the cornstarch. Oh, oh, cornstarch and always, bacon yeah. soda, bacon powder. Yeah. I have yeah. two big containers of bacon powder yeah. because yeah. I didn't realize I had already bought one. So I think I've got three containers of bacon barbecue powder sauce. Right now. I keep barbecue, barbecue sauce, sauce on hand all the time. Um, uh, Linda, you know what I got up thinking about this morning? You know, I, we try to count our blessings every day. You know, we're the world is full of turmoil and confusion and problems and drama. But I try my best to thank the Lord and, and, and think of something that I'm blessed about. Did you know this is the time of the year last year that I uh, got my VA? Well, it was, it was two years ago, wasn't it? Mm -mm. Was it last year? It was last year. Okay. Isn't this our first year on, on air? I got it just before we went on air. We got it. Okay. Well, now, Linda, you may be right. How we, long have you had your car? I got, I've had it two years. So it, it's, okay. it's, so been, it's been two, two years. years this year. You're but it's right. still, You're right. it's, still. it's fresh on my mind, let me tell you. And some, I know if y'all have seen our, our videos in the past, y'all have seen this story. But let me tell you, I, my husband had Agent Orange. And I fought with the VA. Keep talking. I'm going to check your okay. stuff over here to All see right. if it okay. needs. I, um, uh, he had Agent Orange. He was in Vietnam. Um, and um, he uh, suffered with it. I mean, just suffered bad with it. And I tried and tried and tried to get him dis disability because he didn't work the last 10 years uh, before he died. Uh, my husband died in 2008. And... Um, so I had filed, I, and I had kept all the papers, and I forgot how many times I had filed for disability, and uh, he never, he was always turned down because it couldn't prove. They said, we can't prove he was in Vietnam. Well, his, his DDW-214, whatever you call that thing, it had on there Vietnam, and what it was, he was in the Marines, and he was, he was on the ship, the Navy ship, and he would go into Vietnam to build a hospital. And that's how he got Agent Orange, because they were spraying the fields behind the hospital. And um, anyway, never would, never could get his disability. And so I just finally give up. And so my son told me after my husband died in 2008, um, he said, Mother, why don't you file again? You know, it's not going to hurt. Well, I did, but I still never heard from anything. Well, then... I guess it's 2020. Yeah, this is 22. In 2020, um, I got a letter. It was in December. I got a letter and that said that uh, to file again. Well, I prayed over that letter and I prayed over that letter <laughs> that I wrote. So I wrote him a letter and sent him the information that I had. And then in January, it was the last of January because I think I actually, I had gotten it. I was approved before I ever knew it. And I got a check in the mail that uh, I had been approved for his 100% disability for the VA. So I'd just like to encourage y'all. I prayed for what, 13? It was 13 yes, years. A long time. A long time for the Lord to, to um, you know, to help me financially. And so he did. And, I, and it was just unexpectedly. So I'm still thanking the Lord every day for that. So if any of y'all out there that has been working with the VA, don't give up. Don't give up because you just keep and keep records. Don't ever get rid of it because I had all my records and dates of hospital visits and everything. So don't get rid of your papers. I mean, I had a stack of them, but I went through them. And y'all had done this so many times. I had done it, it so just, many times, yeah. 
It was just, yeah. um, it was a miracle. It was, it, it was, was a, a miracle. miracle from God. So, anyway, that I was just wanting to encourage y'all. If y'all anything, even if it's not even VA, if you're praying about something and that you want an answer for or that you need, don't give up. Don't give up because uh, it's coming. The Lord sees your needs. The Lord's seen that I need, because I was able I to did. work. Yeah. I worked all that time. So I, we were making it. You know, it was, we was tight. But then when my husband died, it was harder on me because at the, um, I forgot what year, he'd been on Social Security for a couple years. And so um, the Lord knew what I was going to need it. I got where I wasn't able to work. That's when God says, now's the time that I will answer that prayer. I will help you. So just be encouraged because the Lord hears you. He knows where you're at at all times, and he won't forget about you. So um, uh, this is something that's, I mean, every time Mary tells the story, it's very, very um, touching yeah. because I know what she went through, yeah. and I know how hard it was. Yeah. But someone asked the question, the um they said, old cabinet in my kitchen, it's it's a hutch, that freestanding hutch. Yeah. Was that Pinky Mall's? Uh, no, it was not. That was something that we bought uh, about, I guess, about 25 years ago. Mike and I bought it from a local in Jefferson. It is a very old hutch. At the time yeah. we bought it, it was yeah. over 100 years old. Was that, was that, that's a pie safe? Is that yeah. what it's called, yeah. pie safe? Pie yeah. safe, yeah, yeah. The old pie yeah. safe. Yeah. yeah, and I love it. It's beautiful. Um, let's see, and I hadn't, um, that was just one question that I re remembered reading while yeah. we were waiting here. Mm -hmm. When I was coming over here this morning, Mary, you asked me before I left the house, was it foggy? And I told you, no, it wasn't foggy. I ran into one little patch. You know, we mm -hmm. on, we, we go the back way, what we call the back way. On, for all you locals that know 2208 <laughs> that goes from Longview to Jefferson, um, there was one little patch of fog that I run was into. It? When I passed the airport, mm -hmm. it was thick as soup. Really? Yes, and yeah. I was so surprised. Uh, well, the reason I told you to be careful because of the fog, the uh, weather forecast said Henderson was zero visibility. It was very <laughs> thick, and I was, was like, where, where did this come from? Yeah. But you know what? It's because it was further south yeah, yeah. than us. Yeah. Yeah, and we're used to fog because East Texas in yeah. the in the summertime. I mean, yeah. in the winter time, you get a lot yeah. of fog. Yeah. Yeah, Bobby served, the, uh, someone asked, uh, said, thank you for your service. My husband served uh, the Marines for four, four years, four months, and I think 28 days. My husband had it down to the pad, <laughs> to the day, but he did. He served uh, the Marines and pr was proud of it. Yeah, was proud he was of a it. proud Marine. Yeah. Pr very so. proud Marine. Okay, let me, uh, well, the clock hadn't went off, so it's not, I'm, but I'm going to check it. Uh, and I know there's been, since we've been doing videos, there's been so many people that's lost loved ones. And uh, we see that, you know, on our post and we get texts and messages. And um, we're, you know, we always pray when we see something, we always pray for the family because Absolutely. How, how hard it is to lose someone. We've lost a lot of our members uh, this year, uh, this past year. Uh, from sickness yeah, we've lost or several COVID members. or something, we sure have. We've, we've lost several, and it's um, it's uh, it's just part of life. But you know what? When you know about it, it just it makes it yeah. harder when you know about it's it. It's close know to somebody. home. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and we were so blessed to have uh, our siblings here this weekend, yeah. and and uh, get to visit with Charles Linnell and Edward and Debbie and everybody. But right. it was nice to have all of yeah, us here. Yeah, we, because we, us four kids don't get together that often. And so it's really nice. But like you said yesterday, we're going to our brothers in yeah, spring. Yeah, we're going we're to go to Mississippi in spring yeah. and uh, do a live mm -hmm. from up there. Right. We've done one from Charles right. and Nell's house, right. and we're going to do a live from yeah. from Edwards yeah. um, in the spring. We'll We'll try to pick a date where... Uh, the weather's good. We're not yeah. gonna be dodging tornadoes <laughs> or something. <laughs> you remember, Linda? You remember that time that uh, we was coming back from Mississippi, and it was about the time that the news was talking about people standing on the overpasses yes. and throwing rocks down at people going under the underpass. People were getting killed. Yeah, we was on our way back from Mississippi one time, and uh, 
I seen the boys. It was I think it was three boys on top of the uh, so over look, look like just kids. Yeah, on the overpass. And before we got to them, and I said, Linda, there's some boys up there. And just was it just before? It was just before we got under that. They threw something on the ground. If we'd have been under that, it would hit our windshield. The car it hit. Yes. It bounced under the car. Yeah. yeah. And it really, really did. I mean, there had been several people killed I know, from kids doing I know. this. And we reported it. We called. Yes, it was we did. close to Wascom, I think. Wasn't it close to Wascom? No, it was, Where was, it was it before at? Ruston. It was before between Ruston. Monroe okay. and Ruston. Okay. Yeah. We gave them the mile marker yeah. and told them. Yeah. Um, but it was very scary. Yeah, it sure was. Okay. Um, we've had a lot of adventures <laughs> over the... We sure have. You know, <laughs> something I was thinking about the other day, Mary. Right. I can't remember. I don't think this was. No, this wasn't uh, right after Bobby died. I don't think it was. But we were in um, we were in Maryland for a training okay. for West Ed. Okay. And we had, we had, um, I guess we, we had to have a car because I was driving. So we, we must have gotten a rental car or something or they provided us a rental car. Okay. Anyway, we went to get something to eat and when we pulled out, I was driving. I pulled out in the wrong way and I was going, it was, oh. and you, t you, had, you said, Linda, this is a, you're going the wrong way. And I said, no, I'm not. no, I'm not. About that time, this car started flashing their lights and I turned around real quick, but I thought about that the other day. It, we wasn't in no danger. I yeah. mean, we quickly noticed it wasn't yeah. a freeway. It was in town, but I thought about it the other day. Well, you know, Linda, remember when daddy was in the hospital and, um, uh, we left really early one morning, so because Mama, Mama hadn't driven very long when Daddy got sick. No. She hadn't been driving very long, and so we were going to Houston. We lived in Nacogdoches, and we got up early that morning so we could get to Houston before the traffic got mm -hmm. bad. And uh, we, and it was still dark, and that's when F Highway Fifty Nine was just a two lane two road. Lane. Fifty Nine, yeah, yeah, and Fifty Nine South, and um, I we seen some men. So me and jumped out in the middle of road where we were had been driving, yeah. and I said, "Mother, watch those men." And about that time, Mama said, "Well, I'm not stopping." And she she went into the other lane, and those men you could hear them hollering and throwing their arms when we passed by them. But they were trying to get us to stop, yes. and it was early, like. Three or four o'clock yeah, in the morning. It was in the middle of the night. Yeah. And uh, it was just, you know, you never, you never know. Before you get to Livingston, because yeah. I think we stopped at Livingston. We did, because we were so shook yeah. up. It yeah. scared us yeah. really bad. Yeah. But uh, you have to be careful when you're driving on And that road. was a dark stretch of highway, It was. Too. Even it was in nothing. the daylight. It was, it was tree lined on both sides of roads for miles. And, uh, but the Lord kept his hand on us. And my so, husband does not get in the videos. He <laughs> does not like the camera. He doesn't like phones. <laughs> he has a flip phone, and if it was left up to him, he wouldn't even have that. But he does not like to be in the camera, but he does exist. And somebody asked uh, about Saturday uh, who was staying with Mike. Mike likes to stay by himself. <laughs> <laughs> he, wasn't, he wasn't minding that a bit. <laughs> He's, he likes to stay by himself. So... Um. Mike is over the years. He's um, he knows when I say you know you know what I was thinking, <laughs> or I've been thinking about. Yeah. He, he knows that I'm fixing to come up with a plan that I'm gonna drag him into it. <laughs> he's pretty good. Sometimes sometimes he balks, but he's pretty good. <laughs> he's he's good. No, he he's really a, does he help helps, me a lot. He helps you a lot, but he's just not a social person he just doesn't he's really good one-on-one -on -one in just a few he, he doesn't is. like crowds yes, yes and um he doesn't like um uh, he doesn't like front and center stage you know like we just never bothered us because no. we've always been around well, people hey, and always been in front of people we like to be around people <laughs> when i uh, mama i'm kind of like mama it doesn't make a difference if i'm sick i still want to go I mean, I still want to go. I still want to do something. It don't make a difference. If I'm able to get out of the bed, I, I want to go and do something or be around people. I just like, That was one of the hardest things for Mama. It was. When she got it down. Was. It's because she didn't have any control over where yeah. she went. And she went somewhere. It, you know, it had to be one of us take her. Okay. okay. I think we're done.
guess we can bring Mike was not in the camera this past weekend. He, he wasn't over here. He's also pretty particular about, you know, the um, stay, trying to stay safe from COVID. the, the yeah. COVID, too. Yeah. So, and we've had Christmas at our house several times over yeah. the years, but we have it at Mary's. And we've had Christmas at Edward and Debbie's. We've had it at Charles and Linnell's, but most of the time we're at Mary's house. Um, that camera, I went and took it down. I'm going to have to raise it up to come back over Oh, here. you want me to bring it back over there? Uh, you can. Uh, I'm just taking this chicken out. I was just going to show them. And uh, what about the light, Mary? Just unplug uh, this light. Yeah, you can just turn it off. Or, yeah, Don't you have to take this out? Yeah, you do. Okay, let's see if I can get this raised. Probably not. Mary's probably gonna have to redo it. But okay. Does this cord come off? No, you just put it around there. Um, let me sit back in. Sorry, I don't know. Right. Just drop it. Whoops! I tripped over the mic. The, the, Oh, you, now I was wondering, you raised that up. I was wondering, how in the world can you not see that? And uh, raise you raise it up. I raise it up. <laughs> That's okay. All right, I'm just going to shred this. I'm just going to take two forks and just put, pull it apart. That didn't I, take long at all to cook. No, it. no, it didn't. And if you just use, if you don't use, don't get, um, buy the um, slices like I got, you can just... Um, Cook your breast hold, or you can cook it, um, cut them in, cut them in two. Just, uh, but the thinner pieces do cook faster. Do you need a big plate, Mary? I might. <laughs> there are, there's another paper plate over there. You can get another paper plate and put the ones that I shred. Um, and, uh, oh, right there on top of the coffee maker. And just put this. You shred it any size you want. Just, yeah, put that shredded over there. And I, I'm not shredding it that smaller pieces. I kind of like to taste chicken. Got some good seasoning in it. I yeah. smell that. It smells yeah, good. Yeah, it does smell good. You smell the garlic? Yeah. This is a lot of chicken. It was a breast. lot of chicken. <laughs> and breast was... Big. Must have been huge. Well, they were huge, but I didn't think it's that big. It's gonna be a pot full of chicken. Depends on what size of breast you get. Um, right there. I'm gonna take out. Oh yeah, yeah. There was one piece that did have a little bit of fat on it, and um, I think uh, that was it. Yeah, there's another little piece right here. Um, I knew it was on there, but I left it on there because we just won't put that piece in there. Uh, because uh, I wanted to have a little flavor. bit of flavor. Yep. I like a little bit of flavor in there. Well, I dropped that piece. Here. What's good about something like this, if you got a busy day plan, like uh, Mondays are usually tough if, yeah. for working people because, you know, your Mondays, as a rule, Mondays were hectic because you got to, get caught up on everything from the weekend. Right. This is something wonderful to make, like on yes, Sunday afternoon, yes. and you come home Monday and you got your supper cooked. Yeah. Or, or either make it Monday, and then you've got Mondays and Tuesdays cooked. And this this would be perfect for a crock pot recipe, you know, to just to put it in there. Yeah, it would. Well, you know, um, that pot that I'm cooking in, that rock pot, it has the... It, yeah, it's the base. It has yeah. the base. You can buy the base with it. And it it fits yes. the two and a half quart yes. or the four yes. quart. Yes. And you can use your quick cooker as a oh, slow cooker, yes, too. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Well, I'm just knocking it all on. I'm like, who was that lady that said Mary's messy? <laughs> I'm going to tell you, there's never been a cook that hadn't knocked something out of a plate or dropped something or spilt something. If they have, well, I, I just, I don't know about them. Do you? No. Okay. 
All right, I'll just throw this okay. in here. That's it. Got a lot of herbs in there. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. All right. Now, we'll turn this burner up because we're fixing to add those beans. Um, this is uh, kidney beans, light kidney beans, and I've wrenched them and used this little colander. And now, Linda, if you'll wrench the pinto beans. Okay. And uh, I'm putting the can of... Um, Diced roasted garlic. Now, on the recipe that I put on the members page, I did not put this on there. This is just something I added. You don't have to put that in here because there's several cans of them. And then I'm putting the um, I'm putting zesty chili style. I couldn't find the Mexican style, so this is the chili diced tomatoes chili style. And and then the fire roasted diced tomatoes. This, uh, that's what this uh, having all these different kind of tomatoes in there is uh, one reason that um, the longer it cooks, the more spicy it'll be. And then this is a can of rent drained and wrenched pinto beans. This is going to be a pot full of soup. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. And then I'm going to put a can of diced chopped chilies get that all out of there oh, you're not rinsing these cans out are you uh no i'm not okay thank you Linda. you're welcome and then i'm putting a can of drained whole kernel corn and this is a pot full of soup all right stir this up And we'll get this thing to boiling, and then I'm only going to boil it for about 15 minutes, and it'll be ready. But the longer you cook this, the more flavors it'll have in it. All righty. That is a pot full of soup. See? That's beautiful. And what's... Once it cooks another 15 minutes, then I'm going to add some cheese to it. You're going to put the lid, the lid on? I'm going to put the lid on, yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to watch it because when it, first, when it starts to boil, I'm going to have to turn it down. It won't take it long either. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's my pot of chicken taco soup. You know that lid, don't you? Got to, you can take it off. It, it's, yeah, it it's not get too hot. Real hot. It doesn't get I real hot. I picked it up a while ago yeah. and it wasn't. Uh, yeah, it doesn't get too hot. I'm going to put the rest of this broth back in the refrigerator. Uh, and don't let it forget to put the cheese. Okay. What did I do with the cheese? Do you oh, put goodness. it in the soup or on top I, of it? Well, I, I put it in it. It's, okay, just make it a little creamier. Yeah, it makes it creamier. And I, and I also put... Um, a half a stick of uh, cream, cream cheese, cheese and then the uh, Monterey Jack. And I, I didn't pick up Monterey Jack because I had cheddar, so I'm using cheddar. But I want that to cook. I want those all them beans to flavor, get the flavor. Uh, and it won't be but a few minutes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to time it. So, uh, okay. Yeah, this Got is going to be really good. I was trying to see if there were any more okay. questions on there, Mary. Okay. I don't want to get my face right in the camera. Yeah. Uh, but this is a pamper shelf. Uh, someone asked about this. This is a pamper shelf. And like I said, it, it has a base that you can use, like a crock pot. You yeah. Can, that comes with, that you can buy separate. Yeah, you can buy separate or yeah. you can buy the, if you buy the set, it comes with the two and a half quart. This um, this thing, this uh, rock crop you can put in the oven or grill. You or can the, put it grill, on the grill too. Or, uh, the oven microwave. Microwave you put it in the uh, and then put it right on the table because it's you know yeah. it's it's a it's a nice pot. It's good. This pot you can heat it up to seven hundred and eighty-two degrees. Yeah, it's, it's very versatile. Yeah. So, 
Okay. Um, you see any more questions? Uh, I don't see any more questions. Uh, it's hard to read unless it. you're unless you're yeah. constantly following yeah. it. Yeah, we'll try to answer your questions later, but we're going to we see something on yeah. there. Um, we do not ship to Canada. Canada has their own um, pampered chef. Um, what do you call it? They have their own it's program um, or it's it's separate from separate. the United States. Yeah. you can get it. It's just yeah. we can't. You can't order from us to go to Canada. I wish you could. Chuck's, Chuck's out there helping them. Helping Are they out there? Well, I didn't see Chase, but I seen Chuck. He's out there. Uh, I gave um, um, my granddaughter my husband's old truck. It's, I, I don't know if it's a 67 or 77. I've got to find the title. I've got it packed away somewhere. Is it a Dodge? It's a Ford. A Ford. It's a Ford. Okay. And so I gave it to my granddaughter. And uh, so her husband, they wanted to take it back with them Christmas, but they had so many, they was in their Suburban, and they didn't know if they wanted to pull it back with all the kids, the kids and everything yeah. in it. So he came back in his pickup from, from Oklahoma, and he's taking it back with him today. It's, it was it's got the original everything in it, but my granddaughter's been wanting that truck ever since my they wanna, husband died. They want to fix it. They're going right. to fix it and restore it. Yes, they're going to restore it. And uh, my son, it took him a little, a uh, few years to decide whether he wanted to depart with it or not. Because, <laughs> um, but it's just going to cost so much money to fix it. I said, Chuck, you know, um, Chase is a mechanic. Uh, he does mechanic yeah. work, so he can won't cost him as much yeah. to get it fixed so Bobby would be proud and Bobby would be proud to have it still around yes he would so anyway I'm just trying to get rid of things while I can you know that clean up my property or whatever because it's been sitting in the backyard for so long I always said when I die somebody's gonna have a heyday because <laughs> I know what Mike's gonna do he's gonna haul it all to the Goodwill <laughs> He will. That y'all don't get over there. With that yours. is no joke. <laughs> he will. Y'all better as soon as they call you. Y'all better head over there. Y'all gonna cry later. Go get the stuff. No, no. <laughs> no. The grandkids. The grandkids was talking about it. Then. Well, uh, uh, Shelly, she, she, her, and my little Linda. They'll tell me what they want, but the other grandkids won't. And I said, told Mindy. I said, that's the old, my oldest granddaughter. And um, I said, if if there's something specific that you want, you're going to have to tell me because, you know, I will give it to you. I said, it may take 15 years for me to, 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 to decide to give it to you, but I will eventually. And Shelly said, yeah, it took me 15 years to talk her into let me have that truck. But uh, anyway, and Mindy, of course, you know, she's real sentimental. She said, uh, sensitive, whatever, and um, she says, I'm not asking my memo for something after she dies. I'm not going to do it. She said, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> but um, it doesn't bother me. Oh. I mean, you know, I can't do nothing about it after I'm gone <laughs> anyway. I don't care, you know. <laughs> the kids can have whatever they want. It was, I had a dish. Oh, that's that dish over there. Uh, Shelly always made pistachio that salad yeah. in it. That's the only thing I ever hardly use that bowl for. And um, she said, "I want this bowl. Put my name on it. This is my bowl. I cook. I fix this every year." And Mindy says, "No, I, I wanted that." And she said, "No, that's mine." I said, "Kids, they just yeah. being silly. They're just they relate it to yeah, you because they I know. they've seen you fix stuff in I it know. for all their lives. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's just." Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, I never did that. You know, I never asked Mama, told Mama uh, some things that I wanted that she had. I just thought they'd always be there, yeah. you know. And you know what Mama done? She, <laughs> sold, she sold them. And, and Mama used to sell stuff in She sold sales. them in garage sales. <laughs> it was two or three things that we had when we was a kid yeah. that I would have loved to have had. And she sold them in garage sales. 
sure did. Mama was, if she, she had got something rid of she it. needed. She got rid of she it. She did, she would yep. remake it, but you've done the same thing. You, I know. You've remade stuff out yep. of, if you needed something at the time. Charles yep. has too. Yeah, yeah, yep. we do. We sure do. Uh, so let me check this. See how, oh yeah. It's boiling. Yep. That's what I want it to do. Keep on boiling. But it does smell good. I didn't put any salt in this. But it's got all those. It smells I, so good. I might or, uh, taste it. Yeah, I think I'm going to see if it needs some salt. That cheese is going to make it a little salty, though. You probably would say it needs some. Well, you can anybody yeah. can add salt if yeah. they want to. Yeah, you would you would matter of fact I'm I think I may put a little bit of salt. I can't remember. And those tortilla strips have salt in them too. Maybe. Yeah, they do. Um, I'll put a little bit. I can't remember if I wrote it in the recipe that I put salt in it or not. I can't even remember. But most things you do put salt in. At least I'm not gonna put too much in there. I'll put that kosher salt. Um, I'm a little black pepper too. I might have left that out in that recipe. Uh, Y'all, for the ones that gets our recipes on membership, um, I don't know why, but it's so hard for me to write down a recipe. I just, it's just hard for me to do. we're just used to cooking. And sometimes you know, I'll forget to put something in there, and I think I forgot to put the salt and pepper on the recipe. I just, I'm just going to have to reread my recipe after I type it out. Who eats all this everyday cooking? Oh, goodness. We, we find somebody to eat it. Um, this, I've got, I'm going to give my grandson. I was going to say, Linda I'll give, and her boys. or I'll, uh, Yeah, I will take them some. If I have any left, I've got a couple elderly, elderly people in our church that I'll take them a bowl. Take them some. So, I, I, I know what you're thinking. Every time I say elderly, I think, whoops, I'm not elderly myself. <laughs> We're always saying that. We'll say the old people are elderly yeah, or yeah. something. I'm like, at what point do yeah. we start calling ourselves yeah. elderly? But the ones I'm thinking about, they're in their 80s. Yeah. And Aunt Lucy, I, uh, um, she had diticulitis. Okay. Yeah, that's why she's in the hospital. You, so, you talked to Eva Jo? Uh, I did. I texted and okay. text. So she's got diticulitis. And uh, so they're gonna. She can't eat anything for two days. I know what that's like, that's and hard. it does. You literally have to just stop eating and clean your system out and make and and uh, suit and just be, yeah. Very careful. Yeah, you have to be very careful what you eat when you got that, because it um, uh, it's very painful. It's very painful. But I, I, that would be better for her at her age. How old is she? Eighty nine. She's getting close to ninety. Yeah, and. Um, it would be better for that than something else. Yes. I mean, you know, because that, you can treat that. You can treat yeah. that, yeah. She just have to be very careful about what she eats. But, um, anyway, I guess that, uh, I could turn that burner down. It's already boiling, so I'll just turn it down a little bit. Uh, Mama was pretty good about, she was able to eat pretty much what she wanted, didn't she? Uh, well, she, uh, for her, and, her stomach did bother her. It was her stomach. She eat oatmeal. And yeah. that, remember, it was a lot of things that and I would fix her just a little package of oatmeal and she wouldn't eat half of just, it. Yeah. She loved she just, ice cream. Yeah. She loved, yeah, she loved ice, cream. ice cream. Yeah. And you know so, something? Uh, I, um, ice cream, I never really cared for ice cream. You know, I didn't. I never did eat it hardly at all when I was a kid. But my older years, I like ice cream. But since I got this stomach, problems or whatever it is, I can't hardly eat dairy. It's just, I've started to have to drink that silk, an almond breeze, almond milk. I've had to start drinking that. Anyway, I I feel like I'm in good health, but I do have some problems. I, I love ice cream, but I hardly yeah. ever, ever eat it. Is we don't right? even keep yeah. it anymore at home. I don't have any in the refrigerator now. You know something? Freezer. I was going to show you this when I come in. Do you want to, you know what I'm going to get? Well, um, I need to sneeze. Oh. Bless you. Oh, <laughs> Bless you. Oh, that pepper, I guess, made me. I guess so. Me like me, yeah. Y'all, excuse me. Uh, I, didn't, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, um, 
You know how we're always needing ice in the summertime, Mary? Yeah. Well, um, on Facebook, one of my friends had uh, his ice maker went out, and we have a terrible time keeping ice makers where we live uh, because of the, uh, the water. The water. The hard water. We've had, I don't know how many of them go out, so we just don't have an ice maker anymore. He has one of the portable ice makers that sits on his counter. He went and bought one. Okay. And I want us to get one. Okay. It makes... Um, the, I looked at two, and one of them makes 24 pounds of ice a day, oh and one goodness. of them makes 26 pounds of ice a day. Wow, we wouldn't use that much ice. And they don't, they don't cost but about $100. Really? Oh, well, it'd be nice to have a special get get, Especially when we have family get-together. That'd be wonderful. For the summertime, yeah. we're always well, needing that's ice. Well, that's true in the summertime. It is. You do. I think it was a Frigidaire that he had is that, that right? I looked at on Amazon. Okay. I'm going to check this. Soon. I'm going to get me one. Yeah. I think I'm on them. Let's go ahead and put the cheese in there. I'm going to put this cheese in there first because I want this to melt. Uh, this right here, I'm going to wash my hands. It's been a few minutes since I washed them. Now that is a pot full of soup. It is a pot full, isn't it? <laughs> um, probably I'm going to turn that camera around too so we can see it. You want me to turn it? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, please. Thank you. I just put about four ounces of uh, cream cheese, and it'll melt. I could have broke it up, and it probably would, wouldn't have took it as long. Thank you, Linda. welcome. Just make it a little creamy. Uh, Monterey Jack is cheese that it really. It's got a little bit uh, of uh, spice to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Monterey Jack? Yeah. And um, I, um, since I had, I knew that I had this um, cheddar, I'm just going to use cheddar because. Um, It'll be good. Yeah. I love cheddar cheese. It's really a pot now, isn't it? <laughs> You sure ain't gonna be able to cook that much. You're gonna have to just put the lid on, yeah. but you're gonna take some. It's out. okay, yeah. And then uh, in your individual bowls, and Linda, I, I'll get some more cheese out if you want to. You can just sprinkle no, a little no, cheese absolutely. on top. No, I'm just gonna taste of it. I'm not gonna eat a whole bowl. I'm not. It'll take a few minutes for that cheese, all that cheese to melt, but. It's, it's, uh, that looks it's delicious. good. delicious. You can, you can see those fire yeah. roasted tomatoes yeah. in there. Yeah. And, and the long, the longer you cook this, the, the more spicier it'll be. Um, where's my little chips? I went to buy these tortilla chips and they didn't have, um, they had that cheddar. Um, chipotle cheddar. Uh, they had this in regular tortilla, regular chips, but they didn't have the regular, so I got had to get the chipotle cheddar. But you could also buy this the, in the sal um, salad section where your salads are. You could buy the tortilla strips. It's a, call it a salad topper, yeah. and this is tricolor. We love those. Yeah, they're great. I'm not going to use the tricolor. I'm going to. I'm going. Uh, I want these cheddar chips. Uh, I'm going to, I will, I will cook this even after we get off the air, but I'm going to go ahead and fix this up a bowl. I just, I just want to scoop, Barry. It's so full till I'm going to have to cook it a little longer to, uh, I mean, get some out. That's all, that's all I want on mine. That's all you want? Yeah, me? I just want one scoop. Well, let me put some chicken in there. In that chicken? Yeah. Well, Cream cheese. Oh, is that cream cheese? <laughs> I was gonna try to get you some chicken. That's okay. This is good. You sure? Yeah. I don't want but one spoon either. And then put some of these chips on top. I'll just hand it to you. <laughs> I'll just put that's fine. Thank you. 
and you could put you could put um, sprinkle ch uh, some extra cheese on top of it, or you can just uh, use your tortilla chips. I'm gonna move the camera. And we'll just we'll taste of it. I like these little strips. You can use any kind of, um, you know, ch uh, tortilla, Doritos, or whatever. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mmm. Man, that's like good. That is really, really good. Y'all need to fix this. Mm -hmm. It is good. I'll take my, I'll take little Linda a bowl of it and see what, see how, what she thinks about it compared to what she makes, because she thinks she makes the best, and she does hers a little different than I do. This is really just but full I like of flavor. This. I like this. Full of flavor. Well, we appreciate y'all sticking with us, being patient with us moving the camera around. Linda's going to get back with us um, hope, tomorrow, hopefully, and uh, we'll, um, We'll see y'all tomorrow. Don't forget to count your blessings. And y'all have a blessed day. We love y'all. Love you. Bye-bye.